This site was not very expensive. Again, cost me only $54.99. A little bit extra with shipping and tax. A lot of the low budget stuff that I get turns out to be useless, turns out to be junk, turns out to be useless junk. And every now and then I end up finding a gem, something that works very well for the price that I got it for. The first things that I wanna get into when it comes to this site are the things that I do not like about it. Right off the bat, battery life is horrible. It's about 50 hours of battery life. That is really not something that you really want in an optic. So if battery life is something that you're going for, 50 hours is unacceptable. The battery will hold charge for about a year as per the Crimson Trace website. So if you store it up and you just turn it on when you're gonna use it, it might work for you. But either way, the battery life is not very impressive. Not at all. If you leave your unit on accidentally for about two days, you can kiss your battery goodbye. Now, the second thing I do not like about this site is dot visibility. It does have eight brightness settings, but even on the brightest setting, the dot all but disappears in natural daylight. So it's not very bright out during the day. It will probably be hard to see for some people. It does work though. You can see the dot, it's just not a very bright dot compared to some of the other options out there. Ultimately, I'm not happy with the brightness of the dot, even on the highest setting. Now the windage and elevation. They are easy to adjust. Uh, they are one MOA clicks. It does have a four MOA dot and you just gotta take the little screw caps off to adjust the windage and the elevation. The only problem is that there's no marking on there. So you really don't know which is which, or if you're adjusting up, down, left, right, you have no idea, not even on the underside of the cap. So you'll figure it out, it's not very hard to do. You can Google it and stuff like that. Um, so a little trial and error and you'll get it down, but just the mere fact that it does not have any marking on there to let you know, or on the uh, user guide that it comes with, it's not on there, so. That's another strike for this unit. A few other details that are neither good or bad. It does run off of one CR2023 battery. The battery compartment, again, it's got a screw cap here, easily accessible. You don't have to take the unit off. It's not underneath, not anything like that. Take it off, put it on. And with the battery life, it's a good thing that it's easily accessible because it's probably a battery that you're gonna have to change often. The body doesn't look and feel like junk right off the bat, but again, it's not one of these higher end optics, so. It's, you can't really compare it to them, but it just doesn't look like a piece of junk. Not anything fancy, but again, not junk. The site itself weighs 4.8 ounces and has a 20 millimeter objective. That is something that concerns you. The mounting mechanism isn't anything crazy either. It just has some torque screws there and it clamps on with an Allen wrench. And if the screws walking out on you are of a main concern, well, you can just throw some Loctite on there and that'll take care of that problem. It also does come with a riser. Uh, you can take the riser off fairly easily, just as you would be putting or installing the site on some rails. It goes on and off just the same. And the riser works with pretty much anything else that you wanna put on there. Again, nothing fancy, but functional and very much appreciated because you can use it for something else if you want it to. You can also use it without the riser. I didn't use this on my 22, but I did use it on this thing I've shot a few hundred rounds already, and it it works well. It's held zero, that's pretty much all there is to it. A few things that I did like about this unit, of course, the battery compartment, the fact that I don't have to take the sight on and off, it doesn't mess with the zero at all. And the switches to turn the unit on or to adjust the brightness are located right on top of the unit. So you don't have to turn any knob or anything like that, you just quick press of a button, the unit is on, you press both buttons down and unit is off. There is no shake awake, there is no lock setting on this thing, but my favorite part is it will cost you about maybe 69 bucks. It's not exactly junk, but it is not a viable low cost option for serious shooters. A BB gun, a plinking gun, a 22 long rifle, but there are better optics for this price point. <laughs>